Lesson number 7. Joint bar graph. Observe the two bar graphs below which show the wheat production in quintals in Ajay's and Vijay's farms. This is Ajay's wheat production and this one is Vijay's wheat production. Now, we can show the information from both graphs in a single graph. By using one graph for both information, more information can show using less space. Besides, comparing Ajay and Vijay's wheat production also becomes easier. Such graphs are called as joint bar graphs. With the help of this joint bar graph, we can identify that in year 2011, they both produce equal quantities of wheat. In year 2014, Vijay produced more wheat. In year 2013, Ajay produced 40 quintals wheat and Vijay produced 30 quintals wheat. Reading a joint bar graph The minimum and maximum temperature in Pune for 5 days is given. By reading this joint bar graph, we will find some information. First, day's data is shown on x-axis. Two, temperature data is shown on y-axis. 3. On Monday, there was the highest temperature. 4. On Thursday, there was minimum temperature. 5. On Thursday, minimum temperature was 15 Celsius and maximum was 30 Celsius. And the difference between the minimum and maximum temperature is 15 Celsius. Drawing a joint bar graph. The number of boys and girls in a school is given. Now, we will draw a joint bar graph to show this information. Class 5th Boys 52 Girls 57 6th 68 63 7th 67 64 8th 50 48 9th 62 62 10th 60, 64. Steps for drawing a joint bar graph. 1. On a graph paper, draw the x-axis and y-axis and their point of intersection. 2. Keeping the distance between two sets of joint bars equal, show the classes on x-axis. 3. Choose a scale for the y-axis. For example, one unit is equal to 10 girls or boys. Mark the numbers of boys and girls on the y-axis. 4. Using the scale, work out the height of columns required to show the numbers of boys and girls in each class. We use different colors for each set of clarification and difference between two graphs. Now, you know that in a joint bar graph, the width of all columns should be equal. The distance between any two consecutive sets of joint bars should be equal. A joint bar graph is used for a comparative study. Now, see one more joint bar graph. The percentage of literate people in the states of Maharashtra and Gujarat are given in chart. State, Maharashtra, Gujarat. Here, 1971, 46, 40, 1981, 57, 45, 1991, 65, 61, 2001, 77, 69, 2011, 83, 79. 1. On a graph paper, draw the A axis and B axis and their point of intersection. 2. Keeping the distance between two sets of joint bars equal, show the years on A axis. 3. Choose a scale for the Y axis. For example, one unit is equal to 10 years. Mark the number of people on the B axis. 4. Using the scale, work out the height of column required to show the numbers of people in each state. Use different colors 
for each set of clarification and difference between two graphs.